Hello, people who cannot sit at home. Thank you so much for joining me. This video is part of my Vlogmas and I am very thankful that you're here. Please make sure to check out the other videos because I'm doing 12 consecutive videos before Christmas. So for this video, I know many of you are going traveling or, or planning your trips right now. So I think this video is amazing for this time of the year. So I want to show you how I plan my trips, uh, specifically if there's a city or an area around the city and there are a number of places I want to check out. I want to check out restaurants, I want to check out different um, viewpoints, I want to check out maybe a zoo or whatever. Um, I will show you how I organize everything because sometimes it's actually really hard to figure out what is after, what is closest to each other, what is the most logical in terms of the distance. And of course, you know, is there a cafe in that place? Anyway, I'm going to show you everything and I actually don't think a lot of people know about this hack. It's not really a hack, but I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this. So definitely, I think this is a really cool tip. So this is with Google Maps and to do this, to do the planning, I'm going to do everything on a desktop. And in addition to uh, showing you how it's done, I am feeling very generous. This is holidays after all. I'm going to link down below number of graphics that you can use and it will make sense after I explain how this is done. So without further talking, let's get into it. Okay, so in the search engine, any search engine, type in my maps. And right away you will see my maps dash Google, that's the one you want. It is not an app, this is just part of Google. And as you can see, I have tons of maps already. You do need to make sure that you are um, signed in into your Gmail account. This will not work if you don't have a Gmail account, so you will need to figure out a Gmail account. But if you already have one, perfect, just use that. Right here, create the new map. So it will take you to the world. First, what I do is I name the map. So let's call it, let's say this is a Toronto map. I actually just recently did a whole Toronto video about the highlights of Toronto. So this is just an example, but I'm actually gonna show you already existing map that corresponds to the video. Both of them are gonna be listed down below so that you can check it out if you would like to, if you are visiting Toronto. For the description, dates, I don't know, anything you want, you can add it here. So January, let's say 1st to 7th, let's say maybe you're going here. Uh, that's great, you have it over there. And over here is the main working area. So let me do the first location so that you can understand how this works. Let's say CN Tower. CN Tower is one of the places you want to check out. And by the way, at this point, you can put in anything. It doesn't need to be in chronological order. It's not the first place or second place because you don't know what's where. So what you're trying to figure out is like, here's highlights. Here's what I saw on TikTok, on YouTube. People recommend it. I want to put it all into the map and then I'm going to organize it. So let's say CN Tower. And right away, it appears over here. And by the way, make sure this is the correct location. And it is. So what I do over here is I click the plus sign and it adds it to my map. By the way, if you go over here, this is still on, to, on the CN Tower, uh, you have a bunch of different options. So over here is the style. This is actually quite important. I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. Uh, you have edit. So this is really cool because you can put in any notes. Notes go here. So for example, one of the best notes is ours. So maybe open. I'm really not sure what time does CN Tower open. This is just completely example that don't this is not actual hours. So let's say you put it in the notes, you save it, and now anytime you click on it, it will be over here in the notes. You can also add an image or a video, maybe from, uh, let's say maybe you're at a restaurant and you want to sample specific food and you can have an image as a reference. I don't really use that. Uh, directions to there and to delete it. If you don't want this, you can delete it. Now we have this, that's great. Let's add more. Um, let's add distillery district, also in Toronto. Over here it appears, adding it in there. So we have two now, amazing. Let's add a couple of more so that I can show you how to chronologically order them. Uh, Casa Loma, and one more time adding this on. So now that you have three locations, without complicating it further, let me just zoom out. So they are over here, one, two, three. What's throwing me off is like Costco over here, uh, different Dufferin Mall over here. They're all very similar looking. So that's why you have this base map. Click here and this is the regular map, but this is also very dark. What I like is this. Look how nice. Oh my gosh, so clean and beautiful. Uh, this one is also kind of cool. 
You can definitely play around, see which one you like. I like this one nice and clean. So the reason why I wanted to show you the simple way is that let's say, let's say you want to go to distillery first over here, then you want to go to the CN Tower, and then you want to go to Casa Loma. But they're not in the order right now. I mean, the most you need is to move distillery as up over here as the first, and really the order is good now. So you have distillery, then CN Tower, and Casa Loma. But unless you're looking over here, if you're looking at the map, you don't know what's what. This is my hack. You click on distillery, you click on this little icon, the style icon. Here you can select whatever images they already have. I don't love these images. They are very generic. They're also very small. Um, not, not a fan. If you like them, use them. Definitely. There are different categories. Amazing. Surprisingly, there are no numbers. I don't know why. I think numbers should be one of the main things because you can visually see this is my first, this is my second. Anyway, uh, go here, custom icon. And this is what I'm actually going to share with you guys down below. There's going to be a link to my Google Drive. And in there, you're going to have these different numbers. Say OK. And look how cute this is. Your stop has a number. Ah, I love it. So let's do the same thing for CN Tower. Go over here. More icons. Custom icon. It's a bit of a hassle to do. But if you're excited for the trip, you want to prepare... It's part of the experience. It's a part of travel, at least for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm a nerd, but I actually love doing this. Uh, and over here, we're going to style, more icons, custom icon, browse. I do wish they would include numbers. It's very surprising to me that they would not. Anyway, you get the point. You get the point. Here are the numbers. You have it all. I did up to 30 locations, up to 30 numbers. You can, of course, add endlessly however um, amounts you have. So over here is a great example of a full map. I have done this recently for the video of the best 23 locations in Toronto. I'm going to link down below the whole video and the map so that if you are actually coming to Toronto, you can check it out. And here I wanted to show you the second way that I've seen people use my maps. I don't use it this way, but I, I do think that this is really visually helpful. So that's why I think you should also consider. Over here is an existing map that I already did for Toronto. This map has more of the food emphasis, so it has a bunch of bakeries, donuts. It also has like sightseeing places. It has a you know a beer place. It has a pizzeria. So this way, it's a little bit more visual versus just a number. There's going to be a download that's called icons, and these icons will be in there. You can of course get your own icons from the internet or use mine up to you. And the way it works is exactly the same way. Let's add Amadeus Patisserie. It's one of my favorites. So it's all the way over here. Add it plus. Then you go to style, more icons, custom icon, browse. And this is what you need to download from uh, my Google Drive. In the icons, in the icons folder, find croissant. Or whatever, if it's a cupcake place, find a cupcake, uh, say OK, and there it is. It becomes a cute little cupcake. Yes. So let me show you what icons I already have. So I have bakery, I have beach, I have beer, I have burgers, camera, coffee, croissant, donut, uh, hiking, martini, museum. This is cool so that maybe there's a place that, that doesn't correspond to one of these categories and you just want to see it. Pizza, ramen, steak, and a viewpoint. So I think I covered most of the things. Hopefully that is enough for you. But as I said, get any of them on, uh, on Google. All of these though do not have the box, the white box around it. These are PNGs so that it's nice and transparent. And that's why, in my opinion, they look pretty. They look more organized. Another thing I want to show you is if you add a layer, adding a layer does is you can view, like you can hide or view some of the things. So for example, if you add a layer over here and let's say all of the patisseries, let's move them to this layer so that all of the, uh, all of the sweet stuff, all of the desserts are in here in this different layer. And if you don't want to see it, you can just unclick it. And there you have it. You don't have those those sweet places. You can concentrate on the other things. 
One more thing I forgot to mention, this system, this My Maps, works perfectly on Chrome. It, it keeps giving me bugs on Firefox, but it used to work on Firefox. So if you have issues, go on Chrome. And once you're happy with your map, it's actually pretty simple to see it on your mobile, on your cell phone. So open your Google Maps. At the bottom over there, you will see Saved. Hit Saved. And then you will see Maps, kind of middle to the right slightly. And over here are all of my maps. This is a different map that I was showing you before, but the idea is the same. You can click on any of the locations. There is a direction. You can start your Google Maps GPS over here. To, it will tell you how to drive there. So very handy map. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is definitely my favorite way to create itinerary for a road trip. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like this and of course subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow for the next episode of my Vlogmas. Thank you. Bye.